We're back! Who Hi again! Run away! Run away! Yeah, it's a interesting night tonight. So we'll see what's going on. Anybody have anything to drop on the audience before things start warming up? If you are in need of a web UI developer, I am more than willing to get in contact with you. Please, very much. Uh, Somebody uh, please pay us. I need food. Had the last couple of gaming nights, we've had a lot of issues with uh, Discord. So I apologize if we have any issues midstream. We'll do our best, but we have been having some issues with an update that occurred on that. So hopefully we, our sound won't go wonky as it has. Uh, updates, updates, patches. They fix one thing and break two others. Yeah, seems to be the norm. Five others. Yeah, isn't that like, I remember like, oh, what is it? The fear on the wall song, 99 bugs up, uh, bugs in the code and then take one down, pass it around. 455 bugs in the code. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last time on our Dragon Ball Z on our uh, water dance. Uh, and I Boy. think Dragon Ball Z might be appropriate for this tonight. Either that or Keystone Cops. I'm not quite sure which. Um, Last time on <laughs> water dance, our heroes were held sway under the vile magics of an ancient artifact. No, will our heroes be able to break free, or will evil uh, reign supreme? Find out now on Water Dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! We'll just have no, Sam no. announce all of these from now on. No, no, it's just screaming the whole time. Last time I Water Dance, see. <gasps> <gasps> okay, so uh, they finally they got sent on a wild goose chase down some, some uh, sewers, found a stone, which turned out to have no magical properties at all. And somebody's got their sound up. I'm hearing myself come back. Um, th but um, they uh, didn't find the stone. They found a beautiful paperweight. And so they went off to another location, a, a windmill, an old windmill, dilapidated windmill. And they found a stone in the windmill with some cultist types, managed to wrench it away from them and get it loose and back to Troll Skull Alley. And by the time they got back to Troll Skull Alley, Kevin. <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know who's got the sound coming back. Um, there, it's quiet. Um, anyway, they... Um, Got it back to Troll Skull Alley, and by the time they got back to Troll Skull Alley, it was, it had had enough time to have an effect on everybody that they suddenly began having mental problems. And there were serious problems for Relian, who struggled against it, and then Epiphany fell under the sway of it and managed to snatch, first looking very innocent managed to snatch the stone out of, I believe it was Relian's hand, and ran away with it. So when we pick up tonight, with the stone whispering in his ear, Epiphany is in the lead, and the first thing I'm going to have you all do before we describe a little of what has gone on, uh, is have you roll for initiative. All right, it looks like Shepard and then Nakri got some pretty good rolls on there. Uh, when you take out, Piffany got a bit of a head start on most of you, although um, you will have to tell me, Relian was pretty upset and trying to stay behind him. Epiphany and Cashin were also pretty upset so and the, i believe varus is in the rear because he was kind of like he didn't he saved on his role so he's kind of like uh what is going on yeah varus has no clue what's going on uh so the the question is for um uh the shepherd 
uh, where is he? Uh, well, when I when I last remember, he was actually still in the basement because of the calm emotions, and he was indifferent to uh, Epiphany. Like, he was upset that he was taken, but he's not giving a full-on chase. All right, so you're just like... like he's half-stepping that bit. Yeah, you're maybe just stepping out the front door or something, kind of looking around, because even Varus was running out the door trying to figure out what was going on, so you might oh. eventually... Try to I think Varus figure... was also affected by the common emotion. Yeah, I think the only person who was not affected by common emotions is me. No, uh, no. I, yeah, I saved. Yeah, Keshin and Nakri are the only ones that weren't affected. So Relian is still in full sway greed mode. Uh, Epiphany is still in full sway greed mode. And Nakri and Cashin, what would you say they are thinking? How dare you take what's, how dare you get in my way? It's pretty much what it's boiled oh, down to. Oh, I'm Dragon like, I'm, 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 a little, I'm a little, up. I'm, I'm, a little con, I'm a little confused though, because like, I thought it was myself then Cashin stopped being Epiphany as he was coming up from the basement in the main room before we even hit the street. For Cashin. the sake of tonight. Oh, okay. oh, never mind, sorry. Cashin would be he'd be he'd be a, he'd, he'd be a mix of emotions. Like he wants it, but he doesn't know he's mixed on what to do with it. Now, um, for your markers, this your tokens are huge. Even though they're teeny tiny on the real map, uh, they're huge in comparison to the scale. And you'll notice your tokens fill the entire street, and the street is probably 20 feet wide. So you, are, you either ate a very hefty meal or you have very large tokens. So be aware that you can pass each other. You don't have to say, can I get past him or something, because that isn't an issue here. Your tokens have to be able to be visible, so I have to make them a little bit bigger. Otherwise, even on zoomed in as far as you can go, they'd be little tiny dots that you wouldn't be able to see. So play it more as theater of the mind tonight. This is just up here to give you a general idea of what way you're heading Overall. All right. So as we start out, then, Shepard has the first action of any kind. What does he think he's going to do? Get as close to the door as possible. And uh, not... I'm, assuming, I'm assuming that people are already outside of the building, so he'd be getting as close as possible outside. Very good. And not great. I'm assuming that Epiphany, since Epiphany had gotten outside, I'm in hot pursuit, question mark? Right, and I, I figure more or less he's outside the door. We'll be taking more than 60-foot runs, really, on dashes here, because the yeah. idea is a story, not a measurement. So don't, don't worry too much. I just want to know who's in the lead and where people are in relation to everything else. So... Um, uh, Nakri is, is she's she's behind Epiphany. He's slipped out the door, but he's not far off the porch. Is she doing any kind of action on this turn? Not yet. Not until he's within the five foot uh, reach for a grapple. Oh, I mean, if he is, I'd say he is beyond five oh, okay. feet. He has jumped, he came jumping out, leaping out and off the porch, and you're kind of on the porch. So I would say he's already starting to get a little ahead of you. All right, then, yeah, I would have, I would have taken that dash to pretty much knock anyone out, anyone trying to stop me out of the way and go straight after him. Okay, so you're trying to grapple him? Um, I mean, I've I, don't, I guess I don't have to dash dash just yet, but I guess I'm doing my full movement speed to get to catch up to him because he's within that thirty. Yes, you are 30, able. Yeah. you are able initially to catch up to him. So you're going to try to grapple him. I mean, why not? 
Roll your strength um, roll. Epiphany gets, um, or is it uh, athletics, whichever it is, it's strength or athletics. To, yeah, to respond, it's athletics or acrobatics. Yeah, but yeah. I believe the initial is athletics, and then to respond is either. So yeah, um, correct. So um, uh, Epiphany will get a choice. Nakri, roll your athletics. Um, oh, I'm capable of rolling that high. <laughs> <laughs> At least make a spirited effort. I forgot to. <laughs> you Come on, I'm on. I have one thing going for me. It's been this entire thing, the entire campaign. So right off the bat, Epiphany is grappled. <laughs> 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 and Mike, your camera is throwing us off again. Okay, I have a mic now instead of a door, so we are set. All right. Hey, um, it didn't pick the truth up. Yay. What? You can't. Oh. Just my sensitivity. Uh, okay. Where the echo were, will be no more. That's where the echo was coming from. Okay, gotcha. All right, so we are up to Varus. Varus, as you stand here confused, what are you going to do? Uh, Varys is going to walk out onto the street, and I have a question for you. Uh, mechanically speaking, my walking speed is almost twice as fast as their walking speed. I know that we're not keeping track of exact distances, but would I be able to reflect that in the chase itself once I break out of this common motions? You will specify on each move how far you're moving. Right now, Nakri and Epiphany are together in the lead. I would say approximately 10 feet behind them is Cashin, and approximately 10 feet behind them. Uh, well, Relian, where are you? Um, I would... Let's see. Where did I start out? Who would you say would be the... Uh, or who would you say would be the first one out of the cellar? I would think you would be. You didn't. You didn't get hit by the calm emotions, did you? Yes. Oh, okay. So you're calm too. So you are not fighting, but you still have the greed compulsion. Well, actually, I've got another question. Would I see Nakri tackle Epi? I would say that all three of you that were in the cellar have ambled out to the porch. So, okay, so it would basically yes. be Nakri and Epiphany. About 10 feet behind them would be Cashin. And about 10 feet behind them would be the, the rest of you. So we've got, uh, okay. we've got a distance of about 20 feet for the entire group here now. So okay, I'd I, definitely be able to see that. But yes. I'm, I'm, so my next question is, does a grapple count as an attack? Yes. I, he's, 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 he's asking if he's free of the, just cut to your question. Yeah, he's asking if he's, much. Free of, if he's free of my calm emotions. I'm, I'm trying That's, to work out I the game would, mechanics. It's, so. Yeah, and I'm trying to interpret the game mechanics. This DM would interpret it as yes. If the grapple was to hug them or something very calming, I would say no. But this was a definite, no, you're not going anywhere, and I'm going to It was an aggressive you. action. Yes. It was. Uh, for just a, for just a visual sake, instead of like a full-on tackle, it's more like uh, brought the warhammer around in front and used it to hold Epiphany against her. Okay, yeah, but I so, to answer Relian's question, mm -hmm. I would say that her action was more an attack than a calm experience. So I would call it an attack. Okay. Uh... In that case, seeing since Varus also would have seen this, uh, I will cast Long Strider on myself. Which uh, puts my movement speed up to 60 instead of 50. Uh, and I will run up to Nakri and Epiphany. What are you doing? I will try to take. I will try to wrestle Nakri off of Epiphany. All right. Stop this man! 
goodness. All right. You roll your strength athletics. Nakri, it's not. <laughs> Nakri, you have disadvantage because your strength is being directed at Epiphany. So you are only able to okay. use a little bit of your strength against Varus. So. Monk versus but you, the fighter, which but, <laughs> but Nakri yeah. can use either athletics or uh, acrobatics to do it because she can either just try to get out of his way or she can just use the rest of her strength to muscle. Um, I rolled an 11. So, uh, sorry, oh. Varys. I'm just going to power through this like the like the bull that she is. Oh no, I fully expected this outcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> no, you're <laughs> not. Say otherwise. And say no. roll a nat one, and in the process of trying to fight That's off Varys, <laughs> you lose your hold on Epiphany. Nakri, what is going on? What are you doing? You are so lucky I don't have an action to take right now. <laughs> I'm still trying, is still trying to figure out what's going on, man. Okay. Also, um, before you go any further, you said something about a special rule about us rolling d20s at the end that of each turns. That, uh, that's the round counter that I've got on here. I'm going to get you started into this, then I will be doing that. That's why I've got a round counter up. So it will okay. happen. At one point, that will kick in. Don't worry about it. I know well that that's supposed to be up, but it's... Uh, she knows what she's doing. Yep. I just wanted to ask what she was doing with it. Yep. Don't worry. It, it's coming. Um, uh, so, Cashin, how are you doing it? Cashin, seeing the opportunity, uh, runs forward and tries to uh, swipe the orb off of Epiphany. Okay, I'll do once again as, as if it was grappling because it's kind of a grappling or grabbing move that you're trying to do. So same thing. You're trying well, to... to... Well, I'm trying to... Uh... I'm trying to swipe it off and using like uh I understand theoretically the thing would be slate of hand. Uh, I understand that normally that would be the case, but I'm using this as a a all of you are trying to power grab him in one way or another. So you're all going to have the same problem. He's not all that powerful with his athletics and so forth. So you've got a very good chance against him. So the only thing I will give you, Cashin, is you may use athletics or acrobatics because of the type of move that you will tend to use, and so will Epiphany. I will have to roll for him because he's got child big children problems tonight. So he's And that is Epiphany's That's not role. As good. Yep. It's a role. Good not good enough. Yep. Yeah. Um, Impressive. So you manage to knock the stone to the ground. You do. Uh, he's close enough in his dexterity that you don't do a clear grab on it, but it is out of his hands. Uh, the stone, as you knock it to the floor, it bounces once rolls around in a circle in a very strange way and starts rolling down the street, which is very odd since there is a very slight uphill slope away from you. Uh, Cashin will run after it. With a 14 intelligence check, am I able to put two and two together that they're all trying to get the stone and they were shortly affected by whatever this... Thing was after we got the stone? I will say that you will be able to put two and two together. They are certainly all fighting over the stone. The, but not that it has a not control the, effect on them. Yes, yet you haven't quite figured out that because they're not saying or doing anything more than just a, a squabble among siblings fighting over a toy kind of thing. Okay. Epiphany, your, uh, the stone got knocked out of your hand by uh, Cashin. It is, it is now rolling 
ahead of you guys down the street, which is very odd because the street slopes up slightly as it heads west. So it is very strange that the stone is continuing to roll down the street. Um, Cashin is attempting to chase after it, but it manages to stay just ahead of him. Well, Ma Madam DM? Yes. Uh, I was going to ask if it was possible, seeing as how um, we're all pretty close in each other, I was going to ask if I could do an attack of opportunity on Cashin to stop him from getting the stone. But... Jesus. <laughs> I am playing. That is the escalation we didn't need. I will say hey, no. Part of that. Because okay. he has not moved away from you, he has moved into your circle of effect, but has not moved out of it. Fair enough. I so, just wanted to ask. He does not get an attack of opportunity. Uh, does not take an attack of opportunity. Relian. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so, so sorry. But I've got to roleplay this out to the best of my abilities. Do just it. Do it, dude. Okay. So, seeing just this... Don't use your orbs of fireball. No, yeah, don't no, burn no. Don't burn down that, the that end. No, that might hurt the precious magical artifact. Good. <laughs> or your sweet but, little uh, brother. <laughs> uh, no, no, Epi's right. unkillable. Yeah, right now he's not worrying about the little brother thing. Yep. <laughs> but seeing the orb <laughs> is now <laughs> ownerless, so so and still very much within his range, Relian is going to take his full thirty. Uh, feet of movement to get to around where everyone else is. He is then going to cast Spook Hand to bring the orb to him. And I don't think the orb weighs more than 10 pounds, so this should work. And second, he has it. I am going to expend two sorcery points to then render both Relian and the orb invisible. Oh my. <laughs> uh, how? Um, I can, hold on. By Please expending spell. two sorcery points, I can, where, where is it? I'll just link it. By expending, here we go, quicken spell. By expending two sorcery points, I can uh, transform a spell that takes an action into a bonus action, and invisibility counts. Well, so much for my plans. Sorry. <laughs> and now you guys don't know where the heck Relian is. Or the orb. Well, the general area you do, but anyway, that's me. <laughs> Give me a constitution save, Relian. Oh, I'm actually proficient on that. Please be kind. It's you are very kind. You can hear the orb trying to talk to you, but it doesn't seem to be getting through your defenses at this point in time. Question. If that's the case, could I roll another wisdom save to see if I'm starting to shake off the hullabaloo? Yes. All right. There we go again. I was going to ask that as well, uh, if that's happening after everyone's turns or not. Uh, I've got to look at its DC. I think that was enough, but I can't remember what its DC was. Um, yeah, you actually managed to... You tied it. Um, it's a DC 16. Um, so... Um, uh, yes, you managed to shake that off, but you can hear the sound of it whispering in your mind. It's just that there are no words forming at this point in time. And so are you, let's see, you moved, took most or all of your movement to get up to it. So you... Actually, you know what, one sec. How far, because I'm taking full advantage of this. If I'm clear-headed enough to realize what's going on, I'm taking full advantage of this. How far away exactly would you say the orb was uh, from me from at the porch? Like I was at the, at the, I was at the bottom of our porch. Sixty feet. Where would you say the? Okay, then yep, I've used everything. That's me. 
Okay, so a pif so Relian is uh, invisible. Let me put a. Uh, uh, I'll just put this around to say you don't see him. You just see a glowy spot where he used to be, maybe. Uh, Epiphany, what are you going to do? Is the Epiphany still grappled? No. You were uh, you, very sad. You were on the floor, though. No. No. He was never on the floor. Grappled oh, I thought you knocked him down. I'm sorry. Grappled, <laughs> grappled doesn't mean prone. Epiphany will run to the spot that Relian was and will cast Hungering Tendrils. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! So Epiphany, Epiphany will just drop onto all fours, charge over to where Aurelian was, and will <laughs> roar out in primordial mine, and just okay. tendrils will erupt from his maw and just whip. This is a twenty-foot <laughs> diameter. <laughs> I want a DC thirteen strength save from Aurelian. Oh, my worst. From Cashin and from Nakri. And from Varus. So, strength save? Yes, -um. Hey. I think I'm fine. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I broke. <laughs> <laughs> every time I use this spell, everybody <laughs> saves. Every <laughs> single time. Question: we're, we're, we're I'm invisible. Level. Can I just ignore the damage? No. <laughs> I'm in the just, area. I was just, hey, yeah, it's a cheese. <laughs> it is an AOE. Is... Now, the question I need to have for Relian: Your invisibility spell does it have anything about damage running? Uh, I think I need to roll. A uh, constitution save to see if I can keep the illusion up. One sec, let me double check it. But everybody can still take uh, reactions. Uh, uh, is, it, uh, is it a concentration? Is it concentration? So I have to roll a 10 or above to. No, it, you a, basically, a, above a, a 10. 10 to, yep. It's yeah, 10. 10 or above to. God, come on. Okay, yeah, I keep it up. Okie doke. So he's still <laughs> invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Shepard, Shepard, you're the only one still in the rear. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm confused as to what happened to the orb and to Relian, and I see everyone else piled up there. With, I don't with, have anything. With tendrils all wrapping, they don't grab them, but they're wrapping all around them. Um... Let me see what do I have? I don't have is this is a touch spell. It is indeed a touch. Just as, as you know, we have not taken a long rest since the fight in the sewers. Yeah, so who is damaged? Our... Oh wait, no, we're we're not taking attacks, are we? Well it depends on who you ask. <laughs> oh wait, no, Apo did an attack. Never mind. So uh who who has been damaged? Uh, me. Technically everyone, because that's only half da uh, damage. Oh, everyone. Yeah, that's right. Six, six to everybody. So, so oh, okay. I'm moving my 30 feet. I don't know how far... Oh, damn. That's not that far. 30 feet. And who is closest to me that I can see? Probably Epiphany? You're measuring too tight. You would be up with the group. You would be just outside oh. the Ring of Tendrils. Uh, seeing as Epiphany tried attacking something, I'm assuming he's had it. Give it to me. And I'm casting Cold of Dead on him. Oh, dear. <laughs> so DC 14, or you have... I haven't taken any damage, have you? Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's, it's yeah. You take, it was either the five or the nine. I just didn't know if you were at full or not. The, I knew this night was going to be uh, many turns of events. This is this yeah, is Epiphany, going to be interesting. So, yeah. So Epiphany grabs the side of their head with both hands, and then with the third hand. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, you just hear a loud gong. Nakri, you are in difficult terrain, but I don't think you'll take any more damage. No. Uh. So. So. All right. So. 
I'm just trying to keep track of things. I was like, wait, did I take damage from what Epiphany did? Yes, six. 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 Okay, so yeah, six. Okay. Yeah, save, save, save is half. Yeah. Uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Varus, Cashin, and Nakli, and Relian all took six. Okay. Uh... I would like to ask a question. But I have a prop. <laughs> Quick question. Um, uh, when when uh, Relian turned invisible, the only one who was in his line of sight who could have seen him was Epis. Because um, Cashin was chasing the thing, and Varus and Okri are very much occupied. So would they be unaware that he turned invisible? I had a, I reason that Cashin would have watched as the thing. Cashin is the one. Well, yeah, the stone. That's true. Uh, I would say that everybody noticed that the stone went invisible because they might have not realized why because you did simultaneously but Cashin was chasing the stone and suddenly it wasn't in front of him anymore and he turns to look where it is and there's nothing so okay, he's I'll realized something is going on so I'm going to say there is a suspicion for the whole group that something or somebody grabbed this and went invisible. They might not know it is Relian, but they certainly would have their suspicions if they looked around at all. He's the only one missing. So, yeah. I'm try well, I'm, I'm clear-headed right now. I'm trying to help, so I'm trying to cheese this a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't need to cheese it. Everybody's winning the rolls against uh, the, the don't rolls. Don't jinx us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so what did Nakri do? Um, I'm still trying to figure that out, because I'm like, uh... Since you currently oh. have Varus, like, bear-hugging you from behind, trying to pull you backwards. Yeah, let me let me get rid of that first. I'd like to break his grapple. Sure. If that's the situation, so what, athletics does, again? Yeah, he does strength against your either. I will voluntarily let go, but I will keep one hand on, like, the hem of her sleeve, saying, what is going on? Uh, Alright, well, if you're gonna let go, but <laughs> you're calling that one. I was just gonna break it, but um, she'll probably turn glare at him and then yell out, it's like, do not keep me from what is mine! And, you uh, are out of your mind right now, in the most <laughs> literal sense possible. I do not mean that as an insult. Okay, so what action are you taking? I am still trying to figure that. I guess I'm gonna try and push past the uh, crowd up just to see if she could spot where it went to. So you're taking a I'm, movement. Uh, yeah, you, I mean you can only take 15 feet of movement, but it will get you out yeah. of the radius of the thorny whatevers yeah I'll, I'll i'll at least do the movement and just kind of pull myself away from the group to start uh trying to see if she can track it down even though she has no clue where it is i mean it's the only thing i really can do those thorns um uh apo they uh don't continue to make damage when they uh there, there, move there, there is no there's no area no anything all it does is it just it's an instantaneous okay so yeah. they're all right if it's gone then you can move your 30. Right. yeah um i'll probably i wouldn't probably i probably wouldn't move that far because not being able to see where it is it, it's kind of just like all right well i can't see it so i don't know where to go and then just deal with it from there. But the main the main part of the action is just spent uh, looking to see if she could spot it somewhere. And of course, it's out of your sight, but there's something really wrong with that. You don't know why it has disappeared all of a sudden. Varys, what action are you going to take? Can I make a perception check to see? Where the stone may have gone, because I think you it would have seen a flying. 
You may make a perception check with disadvantage because it will be based on sound or something like this because you cannot see it. A tw disadvantage well, is 12. Yeah, I would, um, uh, I would say no. With a 12, you, you have a kind of an idea of where it was, but you don't have an idea of where it is. Okay. Did that take my action? I imagine that would have taken my action to do the perception check. Like yes. it takes a second to stop and look yeah, around. Yeah, you're actually looking around, so it would it would be an action. Cashin, what are okay. you doing? Uh, Cashin knows that it's missing. Knows that it's missing. He he reasons that it's one of the others behind him that's doing it, and he does not see Aurelian. He saw an epiphany uh, lashing out with tentacles, so he's just going to guess that it's Relian by process of elimination. And action? Uh, well, if he can guess that Relian is invisible... I would say yeah. you have a 75% certainty that probably has something to do with, with hiding in some way. Those are uh, right there. And he's crazy right now, so he's going to take those odds, and he's just going to uh, just guess invisibility. So he's going to choose a spot, and he's going to pull out a flask of oil and throw it at that area. You will attack with, dis with a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. And what do I use? You'll just use just a, a, a ranged attack. All right. All right. So you have not hit the area where he is. I'm pretty sure his. Yeah, you have not hit the area where he is. You miss. You might have spliced oil on the others, but you did not splice it on Relian. Relian, what are you doing? Oh, thank God. Okay. This. He sidesteps the oil. He is heady. He is clear-headed now. He knows what's going on. He is headed, s still invisible. He is headed straight back to the inn. He's going inside the inn. He's going to quietly close the door behind him. He's going to lock the door, and he is going to start finding things that can help him. He's looking for, he's looking for anything silk. He's looking for curtains or um, sheets, anything. He's trying to wrap up the. Door. He's trying. He's finding pillows and stuffing in. He's trying to dampen the eye any way he can while he's still clear in the head. Here's it, a question. It is an that AOE, not a contact. Yes. What was your question? Hmm? Was Should... I able to finish my uh, my carving, my uh, you know uh, rune for like you know protection from the devils and whatnot? Was I able to finish my carving in the trapdoor to the cellar before th this all happened? I'm, yeah, I will say that you did. So you do have that. We don't know if it's helpful, but it's something that could also possibly. And you're right. Help it, it, you you explained last week that it, it's an it is an AOE, not a contact thing. But you did say last uh, week that dampening the eye, like secluding it, could lower its effects. Yep. But uh, okay. down in the cellar, you've got a problem. you got lots no, of glass. Oh, I thought you said you were locking yourself in the cellar. No, I'm locking, locking the cell. front door of the tavern. All right. So um, I will say, I as you are doing this, uh, and your actions are being used in locking the door. Give me another constitution save. Okay, clear. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! So you are looking for it, um, and during that time, yes, you probably find a few napkins and dish towels and various things around that you're able to put a little bit between you and it. Well, what I'm actually trying to do is like, I'm, do we have any like, um, do we have like uh, tablecloths? Hey, 
Ruth, um, my, my Discord just went on the fritz. You might want to check the cameras just to make sure everything is You're okay. okay. I checked it as soon as you flop back on, and uh, everything's okay. Because if, if we don't have anything like substantial, like curtains or tablecloths, then I'm just going to lock the door, uh, take a minute to compose myself, and I'll use my action and everything next round to go upstairs where I know I have stuff that can... I, I've got a big iron, like a big lock lockable chest in my room that I can use for this thing. Very good. Um, so, um, I... Is it still whispering to me? Yes. It's just oh, not getting speaking through. Speaking of upstairs, uh, how is Relian's cousin doing? Yeah, no idea. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, I'm invisible, so who cares? <laughs> No idea. Um, Epiphany, what are you doing? Are there any are there any um, street torches? Oh my god. Unlit, it's daytime. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll force us to leave Waterdeep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Aurelia went into the troll skull and locked the door. But what Epiphany, you know that. Now, I will not say you are upstairs well, I mean, yet, Relian, because no, it would have taken your full movement, I... and everybody now has a pretty good idea where you are when they heard the door slam and lock. I didn't slam it. And lock. Could I, could I roll a stealth check to see how stealthily You're... I could do this? We're on my turn. You're doing too much. <laughs> Actually, we're technically not. <laughs> doing too much, but she asked me what I'm doing. <laughs> Mom asked you. me what I'm doing. Can't hear you. We can't hear you, Miss Ruth. Can't hear you. You've locked the door, and you've tried to find dish towels or tablecloths. You've used all your actions. You are okay. right inside Fair the enough. door, and when they saw the door close and heard it lock, they have a very good idea where you are, and to answer you, Shepard, uh, and when you saw the door close right behind you, you have a very good idea where he is. How big are the windows? <laughs> they are most of the windows, except for the one in the uh, like tower, circular tower, are yeah. are shutters, not glass, uh, and they are quite big enough to crawl through. Yes, the problem is. Uh, most of them are like 10 feet above the ground because there's like a, a basement area sort of thing that raises it. But from the porch area, they are at a normal height above the porch. Okay. Um, if Epiphany used triple movement, would he be able to dive bomb through the window? He'd have to give me a strength check to break through the shutters uh, because they would be locked from <laughs> inside. Sure. Let's do it. We're gonna cast expeditious retreat. So he's gonna have ninety. He's gonna have ninety feet of movement, and he's uh, gonna end up double dashing. So would that be two of my dashes? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna double dash into thing. <laughs> Strength. You got to bust through that wood. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. It'll be some damage either way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 and he lands on his ass. You bounce off. You come dashing through, bounce off the shuttered window, and fall prone on the porch, and you will take 1d6 worth of damage. You take a point of damage. And then also okay. have to make a concentration check. I, I don't know if that uh, yeah, one point of damage hurts more than you tried right the, now. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It would have been um, so much more hilarious if you had failed. I'm sorry, yeah. uh, Shepard asked me something. What? Sorry. No, I was just making the comment. Okay. Um, <laughs> Epiphany will then, um, as an act, as a action, um, pull out the crow as part as his object for movement for the turn. He's going to 
grab a crossbow, uh, not a crossbow, a crowbar that he's got in his side. And as an action, he's going to start beating on the window. <laughs> Congratulations. Red you tip that Red more. On, the, on your next round, you will have advantage on your strength check. Um, now, just to answer a question Mike asked earlier, because of circumstances that the, the dice rolls after the fact will not kick in here because you have not met the circumstances that require it. So it's, it is non sequitur at this point. So that won't occur for now. It may occur are next you, week or it may occur at the end. I don't know, but it's not occurring right now. Are you talking about the wisdom save? No. Oh, Did you okay. read the uh, instructions in the recap channel? Oh, at the recap channel. No, I only read the OOC channel. You always read the recap channel. That's what I'm saying. Be sure you read it because there's important stuff in there. <laughs> Basically, Shepard, there's an extra D20 that will take into effect whenever this event occurs. But right now, it's not occurring. It's not uh, occurring. Okay. So, uh, Shepard, what would you then be doing if you're aware that probably it was Relian that just went in and locked the door in the end. So do I have to roll a d20 now? No. No, it's not kicking in. It doesn't happen. I think that's not until we actually get out onto the streets and start doing the chase. That's correct. So, okay, so then, so then would I have spent my two dashes to do that? We're not in the chase yet? You, you spent your dashes to get back to the inn, yes. Did you want, do you want to retcon anything? I mean, if we're not in the chase, would I have spent my chase dashes? That's my only question. No. Okay. No, this is... You're not in the chase at all. You haven't spent that okay. five or six or whatever each of you have. Now, it has nothing to do with it. That, that scenario doesn't exist yet. Already. So you said that the, the windows are shuttered? So, like, it's, it's just... The shutters, there's no glass or anything for the windows? Not in most of the windows of the inn, that's correct. Only the cupola has glass. Okay, so then uh, for the shutters, can they be opened from the outside? No, they are locked from the inside. It wouldn't be a very safe thing to keep thieves out if the thieves could just unlatch it from the outside. Right, okay. Uh, seeing as what Epiphany is trying to do, it's probably good that he's on the ground floor i am going to uh cast my wings fly up to the second floor of the inn all right uh i and basically i'm going to try to break through that way as well uh i will actually you probably won't have to because you all of you tell me how did you leave the windows to your rooms well i think my room's on the third floor. I'm going through the second floor. The second okay. floor is like the, the guest area that we were building up. Which has a balcony. Yeah, okay. Oh, it has a balcony. Yeah, you can get... Uh, let me let me put you back on, since we're doing what actions. Can I rephrase? Can I redo? Because I just remembered something. Let me put you I back... Go let me put you back on the troll skull. Because the, uh, it turns out that you're going to be doing all your actions at Troll Skull rather than on the street, as I thought you would. Typical wrong guess by the DM every time. Um, that's why you should have let us start. That's why, you should, that's why we should have started in the Troll Skull, and we would have wanted to leave. <laughs> right. <laughs> Probably true. Um, to be fair, right. it was mostly the dice with fault. So all right. Can I? I reckon the uh, the shutter thing because I just remembered something. You can do anything. It's your turn. Tell me what you're doing. Right. I fly to the uh, the door on the second floor. That was that was the main entrance to the second floor and upward. And then I'm going to lock that door. Ping what you're talking about. There was th this area okay. here used to be a second floor entry. It is still a second floor entry, but it only goes into the guest areas. It doesn't go into your personal bedrooms. That's the only Oh, yeah, difference. I know. I know. I'm going to make my way down. 
By the way, how's Corporal Banders reacting to all this? He's just watching you go back and forth, and he's got his his spear out, but like he wants to stop this fight, but he doesn't know who to attack. Um. Uh, no, the, no, no, no. All right. Um. Oh, and that's also the wrong door. This is the second floor. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out how you're going to, quote, make your way down. I don't know what you mean. Uh, I'm going to go through each room that goes to the, the stairway. So, you know, I go into this room, then I go into this room, then I go into this room. And you go, ah, there's... Oh, there's no way out. Oh, yeah, That's my point. No That's my point. There is The guest rooms be have been separated from your residences. All right, never mind. Then scrap that. I'm going to try to burst my way through a, a second floor window. Which, which now back. Really now we've come full circle. Not yeah, free. So... Did you leave a window open? No, I did not. Given the fact uh, we had all that issue with um, oh, what the hell? Some of those assassin groups. You would not. Have been there. Okay. Cashin, did you leave a window open? Same reasoning as Nokri, whose token should be out here. Yeah, sorry. yeah, just just drag your tokens on and put yourself uh, in the street out there, approximately where you are, please. Um, oh, I... um uh, where am I? Uh, Shepard, did you leave a window open? No, my room is uh, Ooh, tried to be I, as sealed as speak. possible because of the knowledge I know. All right, you are currently in front of one of the glass windows. Okay. Uh, if it's blue, so, it's a glass window. If it's brown, it's a shuttered window. Uh, Epiphany probably would have left their windows open because they don't care. <laughs> all right. I'm, so, I'm, I'm going to break through this one. So you're going to break through the glass? All right. So give me uh, a DC strength roll. I've got to find where that was. Oh, it's over here. And now there's two knockeries. I only pulled one. The, all you need oh, is a DC. That, that's the one. That... Oh. All you need is a DC 10 strength check. Cool. How do I delete that? Uh, not a second story. Oh, okay, there it goes. That's a 13. Back there. Very good. You bust the glass open, and you are now in that circular staircase area leading into your personal. Uh, residences. Yep. Nakri, what are you doing? Uh, let's see here. Probably making my way back to the front door. Uh, knocking on it twice, and then ordering Lief to open it up. Um, she will take a moment because things are happening. Relian's standing there. Uh, I will, you can't actually take an action yet, Relian, but as Leaf comes by you, what will your response be? I'm invisible, so okay. right, right now I, well, she can, she can probably see me, couldn't she? I would say no. You're not in the spirit world. You are just not visible. Okay, I'm just, I, I can't afford anyone to know where I am right now. I'm just standing, like, right in front of the door, but not with my back against it, because I don't want anything to come poking through. Uh, but, like, I, I can't afford, I'm just clutch the, I'm kind of, I've got the orb wrapped into, oh god, I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> I, I'm, I've just got, like, wrapped in, like, the excess of my cloak, and I'm keeping quiet, as quiet as a church mouse. Very good. Uh, so, uh, when Nock reorders Leaf to open the door, she does indeed, uh, and you hear her, her voice softly say, However did that get closed? All right, so, Nock you are inside. Uh, do you have an action besides a movement? Speaking is a free action within reason. All right. Um. Oh, I don't know what what roles this would be. Um. Uh, 
I was I wasn't I wasn't sure. I I figured getting the door open would be that would be the thing, but um, no, you're just talking. You didn't try to do it yourself. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a big sniff, like just inhale. Perception roll with disadvantage because I don't think you have any special advantage on smell, and that's a more difficult thing to do. No, well, I figured Rallyan didn't change after the sewer. He'd still smell That's like a vegetation. sewer. Oh, he did, did you? Yeah. He did? Yeah. Alright, never mind then. <laughs> I'll skip that, that one. I'll skip that one. Good call. Um. Hmm. Cleanliness is next to craziness. <laughs> <laughs> poor, cor poor Corporal Banders is going, What the hell is going on? Why are you running back? I don't before? know! <laughs> What would he do to see the shepherd just crash right in through a window? Uh, if you did, he it's your in. I, I, I wasn't sure if he would, like, this sounds like I need backup. Well, I mean, he's on the verge of it, but I'm not going to do that because of other things. Okay. Uh, shite. Conflict. Okay, so I'm having the conflict of nature. One is to just tear apart the entire inn because hide and go seek. And two is I don't want to destroy my own property. There's the two conflicting emotions. <laughs> okay. I'm going to count you down. Ten. Yeah, nine. yeah. No, I'll just start. Um, I'll just walk in and just gently drag the Warhammer across the ground, hoping to catch something. Now, Nakri is the dude from The Shining. <laughs> Get, it just, it just, I'm going to have uh -huh. you I'm going to have you again do a perception roll because I don't know okay. what else to do yeah no that's that's fine I wasn't really sure what that would be either it's, just, it's kind of like um, you're kind of just dragging along looking yeah. to see if you you're just, something you're, you're at disadvantage because you're yeah. like blind sight feeling your way trying to do it uh, so yeah with disadvantage that would be a, a no find so we're up to Varys. Varys, I, from what he said, maybe he's talking to Cap Corporal Band. Uh, Varys is going to catch Cassian's sleeve as he's running past and say, What is going on? All right, first, you've said that multiple times. Second, I need that stone. Why? Cassian isn't going to answer because he actually doesn't have an answer. He just wants it. <laughs> it is your movement, okay. Cassian. Uh, Cashin oh, will, okay. uh, will pull his arm away and then go straight for the door. Which is open. And, uh, well, he has his, he has both his crossbow and his rapier out, but he's just now, Nakri's in the way. I didn't go in that far, but no, yeah. No, you, you uh, can, probably... you're, uh, this is an entry door, large entry door. You can get past her. I mean, uh, I'll she stepped in. And, she him. stepped in and tried to find Relian, so she's somewhere just inside. Yeah, I'll say. I'll just say for the sake of like being able to move forward, all and not finding him, I'll have stopped here. So I'll say mm. for the sake of Cashin, I will, and Cashin, I will say you were quite a ways out, so I would say you probably have made it to the doorway. You're looking inside the inn. And he's just uh, frantically waving the uh, waving his crossbow around as he's trying to find the treacherous invisible sorcerer. All right, Relian. Oh, no perception. Relian is uh, stealthily oh. making his. Oops, well, sorry. I would say yeah. To answer uh, Cashin's thing, uh, he. Relian is currently. I'll tell you what. Uh, Relian, give me a stealth roll. Four. Stealth. How much uh, sound are you making? Just considering oh. I'm standing still, not a lot, but okay. That's. Uh, but are you you have advantage. Yeah, you have advantage on it. Let's see. 
because he's going to... I'll take that. All right, yeah, because he would have to beat that in order to hear you. So I wanted to see if there was even a chance he could no. he could beat you. Are yeah. we the, even with advantage? Yeah, he, but he had disadvantage, so yeah. There's I'm no, the rogue. Yeah, you, uh, he does not hear you. So, Relian, what are you doing? You are You are not making any noise. Okay, so yeah, first I would just like to make sure I can bogart that stealth roll uh, moving forward. One sec. Yeah, you are you are stealth on this round. Okay, in that case, Relian is very quietly making his way to the stairs, trying to climb them up with as little noise as possible. As he's doing that, he is unclasping his cloak. Oh, he's still invisible. He's unclasping his cloak. He's taking it off, and he's wrapping it around the stone. Um, and hopefully, this will do something because you and I, when we, when we, when you helped me with this character, we agreed that it is a faded magical item. It doesn't have any real power left, but it's got a little juice. So maybe it'll do something. But he's going towards his room, and as he is, he's whispering to the stone, and he's whispering this, and. I'm sorry, I have a flair for dramatic, so you guys are just going to have to deal with this. <laughs> Sam have a flair for the dramatic? I never would have guessed. What? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> honored, never my relic of a, honored relic of a bygone age, hearken to my call. Free my friends from your spell, from your siren's call. I possess power, enough to harm both you and me. But such things will not come to pass if you set them free. I know not what you want, but know that you can think. Speak, but do not tamper, and all can be spared from the brink. Reject mine offer at your peril. Choose to lose this game, and I swear to you, to save them all, we both go up in flames. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I, I approve. Give me a persuasion roll with advantage. Ooh. That is my speciality. <laughs> Watch me roll it through. <laughs> <laughs> and, my dear Samuel, you have a point of inspiration. Ooh. Which hey. this DM gives only rarely. If you don't know what that is, we'll talk about it after game. Uh, there's a place up on your sheet where you can put a one in inspiration. All right, you have persuaded the stone and you feel its compulsion pull back. However, rather than trying to compulse you now, it simply uses open mental speech with you and makes a mind connection. I am now going to whisper to you. I better put it on. I don't want it to come up on the screen. So I'm going to whisper on Discord. Dun, dun, dun. So everybody think about what they're going to do in a moment, because I'm going to be talking with Sam for just a second. Well, so in that mind, in that, in, with that in mind, do it. So are we going? are we going to feel the effects subside? Yes, all of you will feel the effects currently subside because of what Relian did. However, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some water. Okay. However, Relian will now be in communication with it. So just give me my fingers for a moment. Hero, two sessions in a row. <laughs> just to be on the safe side, though, uh, in case you know compulsion happens again, Relian, what is your spell DC? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Which is not bad for a level four character. Yeah. Are we level four? I thought we were level three. We're level four. We're level four. We're level four. Okay, yeah. have you been level three this entire time? Yeah. Why like, didn't ask have... me that question? I, I forgot. No, I'm at four. But I honestly forgot that I had leveled up. Me, the player, not the character sheet. Character sheet's correct. Or is it? That wasn't even funny. <laughs> Do 
Sorry, I had to run off for doggos. That's okay. I was typing on, one finger typing on a phone, and it kept uh, spell checking me because it didn't believe some of these words. So, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, so you now have a, a thing in Discord that I've just whispered you from the stone. Okay, I'm gonna start whispering back. I need some background interlude music. Sorry, Fondell isn't here. <laughs> yeah, I always have it for Nemo when, when we have uh, interlude music. <laughs> yep. uh. Tonight's up to you, brought to you by everything that can go wrong will go wrong, and everything that doesn't, well, will surprise you. This is where I ought to take them up on their offer to have an interlude with uh, ads so that I could make money, but I never, never took them up on it. Anyway, let's see what he's. <sighs> I guess this is another lesson for all budding budding DMs and whatnot. Your players will do things to surprise you. Always. So, yeah. Alright. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, they've been communicating, and you hear it just kind of hum to itself, and it says, tonight, if I do not journey by tonight, it will fall. And be a bit more specific. And I will try to cover that in a little bit because I'm trying not to have too much dead air on the stream. But uh, we'll get to that in just a little bit. For right now, you have it agreeing not to compulse everybody. So you have it calmed down. So Epiphany, now that you come to your senses, what are you doing? Give me back, Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> Even though that the door is open right next to you. Yeah. <laughs> Epiphany doesn't exist. Epiphany is... Uh, Epif Epiphany is, is, while not compelled, still motivated. I don't think that's how that worked. <laughs> For Epiphany, it makes sense. Yeah, uh, no. It... So, Epiphany... Um, we'll try to pry the door open, pry, pry the window open. Cashin will be, uh, as he as his mind is being cleared, he's just going to slump against the wall and uh, just drop the uh, <laughs> drop and the uh, drop his crossbow. Uh, pi okay, Epiphany. so Epiphany just pounds away on that window with no result. He just keeps rolling one. Uh, yeah, so, so what you see is, as you as you look over, you see Epiphany like just going at this 
window, unable to like find purchase with anything. The crowbar keeps like slipping off, and then eventually, Ow. they just slink and sink down into a puddle of sadness. <laughs> I'll, I'll go over to the window and tap on it because she's heard a pip. I guess hearing a pipney over there. You saw him trying to break in as you came up on the porch. Yeah, that's true. Um, she'll just tap on the window and then go, the door is open. <laughs> I just imagine... Why don't you just open Tiffany? the window? And you can crawl through the window. Hey, imagine. wait. Anyway, it's hold true. on. I'm hold on. Up. Let's get Shepard's turn here. Um, I am no longer compulsed, right? Correct. All right, so then I... I actually won't have to worry about uh, making a wisdom DC on what he was going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and straight up do it. Detect magic. magic. Uh, Let's see, and it's just a, it is happening, and it's one action. So you detect magic within that room that you're standing in. And uh, I can tell that it, it's the magic I felt from the orb and possibly whatever is affecting Relian. And you see Actually, a faint aura around the invisible creature that's got magic, so you would mostly see the orb itself would have an aura around it. You can tell it's wrapped up in something because it's too big. But uh, you would also see a very faint aura around Relian himself because he kind of radiates an aura of magic. Right. I pull out my mace. Rillian, are you there? All right, I'm going to take you out of turn order because everybody's got, like, actions and things that they want to do and you're no longer compulsed, you're no longer in the chase at this point in time. So uh, I'm going to clear the turn order for tonight. What are you going to do? So, Varys doesn't know that there was compulsion and therefore it doesn't know that it's been broken i'm going to make an intelligence check and i rolled a nine <laughs> you guys are just jerks this is what happens when no one fills in varus well wouldn't the dm we, we the would you in <laughs> Varys doesn't know any of this. No, you guys you know have never... I, you know you, nothing, Varys. <laughs> you, you, uh, Varys has never been told that uh, why you, you guys are saying you're after the stone, but you had the stone. He doesn't see the connection. He does not know what has happened in between. You guys had the stone, you took it in, then all of a sudden everybody's running out in the street, and then everybody's running back in and saying, I've got to get to the stone, I've got to get to the stone. But That's just a failure to put two and two together, not like no one told you anything. And I rolled a nine! That's right. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. he did play, he did roll. <laughs> yeah, he, he had an intelligence failure. Yeah. Okay, so what are the rest of you doing? I hearing, still have my... Oh, yep. Hearing uh, Shepard, uh, I'm going to... And I'm, I'm whispering. I'm going to turn to Shepard, and uh, I'm still invisible. I've got the orb behind me. Not that it matters, but I'm going to say, Depends. Do you have the stone? No, I do not. I can sense the stone is with you. Wow, that's a bust. Yeah, I convinced it to let us go of its control after I broke out. You're welcome. And Barricade yourself right now. You think? You think? Shepard, do you think? Because I don't have the time. And I as... resist the urge of wanting to hit you with the camera right now. <laughs> And, and, and hold, hold, hold on, hold on. That. No, it's so. stage whispering. Yeah, he's stage whispering. Uh, he said at the beginning he's whispering everything. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's he's really upset and he's whispering. But, uh, yeah, what would mm. Cashin, Cashin be doing? Cashin is uh, 
is just groaning and he's rubbing his head. It's like, ugh, what the hell was that? <sighs> Leaf, I of all the times I need one, I need a drink now. Leaf looks at Nakri. No, no more drinks for him. She, she, she kind of looks at you and shrugs like, I have my orders. All right, so what's Nakri doing? He's opened the shutters, I, I assume. I, I, yeah, I'm going to open the window for Epiphany and be like, here you go. So <laughs> she opens the window for Epiphany as since Ferris has failed to put together that anything is stopped going on at this point. He still thinks she's going insane. <laughs> He has run up, and this, uh, sorry, you uh, got cut off before I was able to finish what I was doing. Uh, Benders, something's wrong with them. They're going, they're insane. And he's going to run up and punch Epiphany in the back of the head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, this is what this comes. one's going insane. Whack. <laughs> Ferris has lost his one point reputation with Epi. <laughs> Oh my god! I'll do a, uh, a constitution saving throw for my concentration. <laughs> and I lose my uh, expeditious retreat. And Banders, who has taken out his spear, now puts it point down in the dirt, grabs it, and leans against it as he watches all this going on because he has no idea. He goes, um, would you like me to call the clerics? It appears to me like maybe you need some medical help. He also sees, like, Bendis also sees black veins and such from Epiphany's spell that have affected him. Black veins running through Ferris's arms. Uh, that may be useful? I don't know. Um... I, I don't know what any of you are doing. I don't know whether to call the guards, the medics, um, a priest. Are you all possessed? Perhaps an, perhaps an exorcist would be best. I, Passion is uh, just groaning. Uh, shut up. God, I feel like something bored into my skull and, and planted something in there. And then his second attack bounces off the window sill next to Epiphany, shakes his fist, looks down at the puddle of sadness. Can I make another intelligence check to see that they're not sure being weird anymore? One, one, one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it wasn't a one, but it was pretty bad. It was one less than before. I'm going until I hit a 10 or higher, or it is explained to me just, that nothing is going on anymore. It is just a state of confusion here is what's going on. And let me put Varys up by Epiphany so we know where he is. Um, can I respond to that? Just let me know when I can respond yes. to that. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you want me to respond? Yes. Well, someone's going to die. I think it's appropriate that you... <laughs> So people gonna die? Tiffany turns. Oh, no. Passes the crowbar to his tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And then this green liquid starts dripping from their teeth and. Uh -oh. He misses! <laughs> Oh, it's cool. So, <laughs> they took I don't know what this stone has done to all of you, but it needs to stop. And they sink back down into a puddle of misery. Cash I, I, I'm going to Cash I'm going to lean out as best I can to comfort pet Epiphany at this point because she just is like kind of horrified and by the way, looking horrified at Varys for hitting him. Epiphany sort of coils. Epiphany coils in on themselves in sort of a puddle of 
monstrosity plus fine cloak. <laughs> Cashin will will uh, stumble on and say, "By the grace of my leaky, stop making noise." While this, is all, while this is all happening downstairs, I'm going to take the shepherd's advice. I'm going to go to my room, which I barely use. I am going to say, say hello to my little chickies. Hello. Then I am going to take my bed sheet off, wrap the stone in it. I am going to reach under my bed, and we've had lots of trunks and friggin' uh, chests and stuff as we were moving and renovating this place. I'm going to... Uh, pull out one that can like fit the stone and only just barely something that I can tuck under my arm if need be. I'm going to put the stone in there. I'm going to say to the stone, now it's not that I don't trust you. We're going to do what uh, you want. But uh, this is for our protection and for your safety. Okay? Okay. You, you rest up and uh, well actually, as soon as I close this lid, tell, tell me where we're going. And I'm going to close the lid and just lock the latch. Is this upstairs in the attic? Yeah. Shepard's going to follow, but he's not going to go into the room. He's going to stand guard outside. You probably wouldn't have heard me talking to the stone. Probably, but I'm, I am trusting that Relian. How far are you before. from Relian? I'm outside his room. How big is my room? I think it's the upper. Are you within? Floor. Are you within twenty feet of him? Is what I want need to know. Uh, hold on. It's my room is where? That's this one. Dang it! That's the measurement. There we go. Blah. Let's see. There. No, that's Epi's room. Oh, Epi has that room. Okay. Let's, see. Let's do a quick. Yes. Yes, he is. Can't hear you. And remember what I said. If I, I know my friends. If I start acting weird, or if they start acting weird, remember what I said. Both of you will hear this because you are in the, the range of this communication range that it has. The spell is a little further if it's not shielded, but it's... Uh, uh, the communication range is 20 feet. So um, I, both of you will hear. Let me type to one of you and then to the other. As, she, as she's doing that, those of you downstairs, please, RP amongst yourselves. No, no dead air. No, that's true. Um. I have still not been explained to. I'm going to make another roll. Oh, God damn it! Oh, an intelligence or an attack? <laughs> Wait, I made an intelligence oh. roll last at the end of my last round. So, you said a, a Nakri was reaching down to Epiphany. Yeah, just yeah. to pet him. To, like, comfort pet him. Last time I him. saw you reaching for a pet, you was to choke and, him out. That's true. And, <laughs> I'm trying to choke him out, though. And, Why is everyone, like, saying that I'm trying, like, choking him out or, like, throwing him to the ground? Like, I didn't do that. And, and, Cash, and, Cash in, and Cash in just said to stop making all the noise. Yeah, but that doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You guys have not explained to him what's going on. That I'm rolling so on. low on my intelligence. Just explain what's going on. I'm going to make an attack. Yeah, on I, yeah what exactly? Attack on yeah, Come like, on. Quite, yeah, you're expecting us to explain something when most of us don't really know ourselves. I'm just going to catch your fist. Thank you. And look at you and go, could you Stop for one minute. Honestly, look, whatever happened, we're not even sure what the hell happened, but you just hit him in the back of the head. Yeah, I think there's enough headaches to go around for today. 
He's so, going to now that need to get he did not need to give Epiphany a concussion. Now that yeah. things are being explained to him, he's going to look around at you all and say So you're not being weird anymore then? You're I... really slow on the uptake. Don't think it was a matter of weirdness. Uh corporal corporal banders. Uh let us keep this uh, to ourselves until we figure out what happened. If you're okay with this. I don't sense nothing has happened except damage between family members beating up on each other and damage to your own inn. I, there's not really anything I could arrest you for. After all, I was told to stay here in case you went out of the city and you did not go out of the city? I'm going to kneel down and use my last uh, spell slot to cast Cure Wounds on Epiphany and say, I'm sorry for hitting you. I thought that everything was still going wonky. I'm not good. All right, come on, Epiphany, and Knocker will try to uh, gently do kind of like a, a like a person pulling in either a giant baby or like a cat up out of a box. And as Epiphany is pulled in, they will look at Varus <laughs> and shoot their tail out. <laughs> <laughs> we are even now. Okay, let's get inside and try to figure out what happened. We couldn't hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> Our I kind aim of was feel very like, off tonight. I kind of feel like I couldn't. I can't help but think that, like during the whole crowbar window scene when Eddie was tr trying and failing to get in, he was just at the back of his mind thinking, "We are bad at this. Relian usually handled this part of the break-ins." <laughs> <laughs> So I, I didn't have a way to vocalize it, but yeah, it was pretty much like, how did Fred really do this? <laughs> Why did he make it look so easy? <laughs> so he gets a stab, and then Epiphany is just, <clears throat> and like, congeals onto the floor. <laughs> right. Wait, real quick question. <laughs> The troll skull wasn't open for business, was it? No, oh, no. Imagine out when we got back. <laughs> imagine <laughs> sitting there hacking away at the yeah. windows while somebody's trying to eat a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and you remember the scene uh, from the um, <laughs> remember the scene Dream. from Ghostbusters where the where the mousy man who's who's under the control of Zul is trying to break into the the window with the, all the restaurant people. Oh jeez, oh that's right. <laughs> Are you the gatekeeper? <laughs> Varus right. will go and take a seat in the farthest corner of the room, trying to stay out of the way. All right, so both Shepard and Relian hear this whisper. He's not trying to control them; it is informing them. Okay. I'll uh, gently tap on the door to let Relian know that I'm trying to talk to him. He's and Relian, are you, have you released your invisibility? I, I'm, 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 I'm hmm. <laughs> you know what? This is this is gonna be a fun thing. Um, is is Shepard still outside my room? He's not trying to look in at all, is he? No. Uh, I, I assume well, I told you to barricade you uh, yourself, so I'm assuming that you locked your door. Yeah, he eh, said he stood closer. right outside your door. Okay. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm essentially going... standing vigil right now. Okay, I am going to undo my invisibility and hastily um, put my cloak back on, shroud my face in shadows once more. You guys almost got to see his face. <laughs> Yep. 
Yeah, I'm going to drop my invisibility because that is uh, that is consuming. That is that is very concentrated work to keep up an invisibility spell. You have no idea. Uh, what would I have to roll to know if I know this person that was whispered to me? Uh, you almost would not under this name, though you might under another name. Um, but, um, I would say it would be like a DC 18, a history check. History check. I'm okay at history, I think. No, I'm not. Oh, 22. That name catches your ear because it is a name out of almost the city myth mythos. There was a Robin Hood-like character back about a decade ago who was a female Robin Hood, we'll say. And she was supposed to steal from the wealthy and give to the poor. And she was always hooded and cloaked in a purple cloak uh, with a black hood. And um, she uh, was called the Black Viper. It is the only thing you know. It was, it was rumored that she was some noble of high level who was attempting to steal from her own people. I'm going to go ahead that Relian remembers most of this because uh, that's the exact same kind of the exact same thing you said when I met that woman in front of the statue you you this definitely jogs your memory regarding her yes all, all, all right my pale round friend uh, why do you have to go meet this charming swashbuckler ne'er do well the three keys. And I assume you are one? No. Oh. Then what are you? How do you play into all of this? <laughs> I am the gatekeeper. Gatekeepers usually stay by their gates. And had circumstances been better, I would have. Well, you held up your end of the bargain. You let go of my friends. Ah, uh, so I will uphold my end of the bargain. Uh, before night falls, we will make our way to the old mage tower. We'll meet uh, this obsidian snake friend of yours. And we will see about getting to this three keys and see if we can't get you back to your gate. But no more mind con. Troll. Remember, tonight. I guess I did. Ah, nothing worse than an obtuse magical relic. I would say through the door. It is safe to assume then that the fake orb is not a key either. No. I, I would say this to Relian. Oh. Still, I think the orb would probably hear you. Um, I'm gonna guess no. This is probably just a paperweight turn decoy, if I had to guess. Considering what I had to do to get the actual one, it would probably be best if I had the fake one with me. Okay. Going, Ryan's going to stand up because he's. I think I think I still have the fake one on me when I was studying these orbs. And I'm going to open the door and says, there you go. And I'm going to yeet it like a, to him like a basketball. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. This, this thing weighs like 10 pounds. So I'm just going to... I drop it. <laughs> I, I, I was retro retroactively saying no to this. <laughs> I'm just okay, going yep. to kind of just shove it into your chest. It'd be about this 5 pounds. It's about Wait. the size of a grapefruit, but it's a heavy grapefruit. Yep. This is from me to you, from me to you, from me to you, from me. Did you get me a present? Yorn waddles into the inn 
uh, looking around and uh, says, ah, You've led me on a merry chase today. Exactly what have you been doing? I've been watching out the window, and you've been going and coming and going, and what's been going on today? What all's going on with you? This is all to the group that's downstairs. Um, uh, jog my OOC memory. Who is this guy again? The cousin. Um, yeah. God. Okay. Quote. Yeah. Complication after complication. Also, I'm pretty sure uh, a magic rock was making us do stuff. I'm going to let the magical experts explain this one when we talk to them. Speaking of which, I believe yeah, it's time what do I know? Say. Besides, I would rather keep certain informations quiet. Oh, don't! I'm in the business of keeping things quiet. That's why I'm here. Touche on that one. Uh, until we know more, just do be careful. Some of us might be a little out of sorts. Your um, it seems a bit out of sorts himself. He doesn't look. Istrid always had kind of a jovial look. She always had a kind of a sparkle in her eye. And um, she, uh, even when Shepard was giving her a hard time making her work a whole bunch of things, she always took it as just kind of a, a joke between the two of them. And that spark is not there. And he, she, it, because uh, she's using a disguise. Hey. Yeah turns her head up and kind of looks at the floors above her, looks at the ceiling, and just shrugs and goes up the stairs. Well, if you need, if you actually need me, I'll be in my room and cash and just goes. You do that. All right. So wh where will all of you end for the evening, say at bedtime? Where will you all end? How will you do this? Because I need to picture what, what everybody has in their mind for what's about to go on. I'm going to go track down the two people I remember seeing, but no longer see, and I'm going to check upstairs for Aurelian and Shepard. I would say it would take you no more than about five minutes to go up and down, find, because the first places you would look would be Shepard's room and Relian's room, and you would, mm -hmm. so uh, you would, wouldn't find anybody at Shepard's room, but you would at Relian's. So it would maybe take you five to seven minutes to do, climb the stairs up and down to do it. Mm -hmm. So eventually you would wind up beside Shepard. And what did you say about Epiphany? I was going to say Epiphany would just slowly, like, and dejectedly crawl up the stairs towards their room and slither under their own bed. <laughs> okay. So put him the there in his room. Varys would, uh, before... Varys would get up to leave uh, as Nakri was going upstairs. He would say, I'm sorry I swung at you. I thought that it doesn't matter. And walk out. He's uh, going to go buy more Calatrops and also see if he can find a collapsible 10 foot pole. Like, some, it's a 10 foot pole, but I feel like that would get in the way a lot. So, in order to make it a little bit easier, I was wondering if it would be something like I could slide it out, click it, and then it is a 10 foot pole. Uh, we'll roll that one uh, a little later because I want to handle what's in the inn right now. You are out shopping right now, so you're not in the inn. I'm going to move yep. you kind of off to the side here so that we know who's where. What is Cashin doing? 
Uh, Cashin has sequestered himself into his, in his, uh, in his room. Then put yourself there. Vanders goes back to, uh, attention, but, uh, very, still looking very confused. All right, Epiphany, uh, you are back sleeping under Relian's bed? I thought that was my room, at the askew bed. So, he, here's the thing, the moment I see Nakri and Epiphany come up, I pull my mace out. I'm not letting anyone come up here. It is, I'll just move. Blip. Okay. Yeah, you guys decide which rooms you're sleeping in, please. <laughs> just like siblings, you can't, no, you're always arguing really, about who really, gets the big really, room. Yeah. Really, I remember Relian gets the nice functional room, and Epiphany took the one that's completely, you know, run down with no furnace. Well, originally, yeah. originally you had the one here, but then we were doing stuff to it, so then we moved you up here. Yeah. Ta-da. Um. Okay, so Epiphany has crawled under the bed here. Or a sleeping. He needs to get past Shepard first. Well, Shepard's guarding Relian's door. Okay, so I'm not Shep letting anyone up here, though, because okay. I, right. I can't trust them. Okay. So let's deal with the communication between Nakri, Epiphany, and Shepard. I'm just going to uh, stand at my full stature, stare Shepard straight in the eyes, and go, I am of my own mind again. And I need answers, since you two had been missing when we all gained our respective sanity again. I figured it was good to come find the two of you. I'm assuming he's in his room. Indeed he is. No one is getting in. Then he can talk through the door if that makes it easier. But I need answers, Shepard. And you will have them later. How much later? I'm dealing with one person who got smacked behind the back of the head. Another one who's walked off dejectedly because we have no answers to give him. Give me the answers. At least something now. What? Okay, okay, hold on. okay, okay, yeah. okay. Stone, Stony, Stony, I'm gonna have to put you on hold there for just a second. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, Shepard, I'm coming. I'm gonna poke my head out, please. Do not hit me with the spiky bulb stick. <laughs> uh, my back would be against him anyway, so I, I wouldn't. Relian's going to poke out uh, his head and kind of... His hand is very firmly on his clasp, but it, it seems like his time being somewhat naked has left him disturbed. And he says, hi, Sugar Scales, how you doing? Relian, what happened? Okay, um, Stone took control of us, because it really needs to get somewhere by nightfall, um, and I was able, I was the first one to come to my senses after I did a little hocus pocus to get out of all of your lot's sight, and then I threatened to blow myself up along with the stone unless it released all of you. One, you're a very darling man, I hope you never have to actually do that. Two, you weren't the only one who was of sane mind. You, apparently Varys was and was trying to stop us. He's dejected because he ended up punching Epiphany in the back of the head. Oh, that can't have ended well. No, it really didn't. That's we why I need answers missing. now. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to give that comfort pat on Epiphany establishes a mental connection with Relian. And then tries to slither into their room. Like oh, every not... happy don't, don't be sad. It's it's, it's 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 like the shadow baby <laughs> from uh, Game of Thrones, just kind of a rolling <laughs> puddle of sadness. Oh, happy no, no. You'll you'll get to melt someone's face later. We did not get to melt faces today. I'd be able to do it tonight. We can only hope. Get some rest, Epiphany. Right. Anyway, um, I'm sorry about Varys, but it was either get the stone away from all of you, try to dampen its effects and try to reason with it, or try to help Varys while I was in my sane mind and take on four of you with only the two of us in the middle of a crowded street. Which one would you have done? 
no, you did absolutely everything right. The thing is, no one actually knows what's happened, and Varys is kind of... Well, the sooner you can get us some sort of answer, the better. I'm going to try and... Little boy. What? Huh? Where's the little boy? Go get him. I, I don't know. I came up here to find you. Yorn appears on the staircase behind you. Yes, how you doing? Where were you? I was walking around watching what was going on. Uh huh. That's it? Absolutely. In Can I? Yeah, I was about to ask. <laughs> Is this a, a free roll for everyone or no? Free roll. Alright, I'm trying to. I accidentally closed my web browser, so I have to like reload my sheet. Inside, inside. Boop. Ah, damn. Curse you, plus two. Shepard uh, doesn't know what, but he knows that Yorn is acting strangely. Uh, from what he had seen of the person before. And uh, there, he is not lying, but he is not telling the truth. He is not sharing everything. Miss Nockery. Hmm. Grab him. <sighs> Let's not make this difficult than it already is, and I'll just go over to, like, grab at a shoulder. Why are you doing that? I just came up to see Rylan. I think you need to go to another room right now. We're doing something that may end up backfiring. We don't want people getting hurt. One sec. Stony! When I said release us, I meant all of us. Do you still have a hold on anybody within your reach? And all of you who are standing up on this floor, uh, including Yarn, by the way, would hear, no. You know what? I believe you. I'm gonna go back to the door, poke my head out again. Okay, um, cuz you're acting a little shifty, not gonna lie, and it's not the stone. Where were you? I was outside the building. Doing what? what? Doing outside. I was walking around watching you. Now, see, that's interesting, because when I agreed to let you stay, you made it very clear that you have no interest in going outside unless absolutely necessary. What changed? Well, circumstances have changed a bit. I understand Dabble has been released from prison. Whoa! Hmm. As this is all happening, Cashin is uh, just uh, space pacing in his room and looking out the window from time to time. Anyway, um, you know what? Technically, I let you have this room, so I'm going to grab my chicks, I'm going to grab my box, and I'm going to go ahead and let you have the room back. And why don't you stay in this room for a while? Very well. Yeah, so I'm going to grab my little bird nest, I'm going to pick up the chest containing the orb, sling it underneath my shoulder very tightly. And I'm going to step out of the room, keeping, quote-unquote, Yorn in my sights. He will walk past you and into the room, but no. you... No? No, he will not. Oh. I stick my mace out and uh, point it at his chest as he approaches me. Relian told me to go into that room. You will tell me everything that you were doing. I know you are not telling me everything right now. I was standing. I raised my hammer. 
outside the inn watching you. I saw the fire. Can I, can I roll another insight to see if they're trying to tell me something that they may not be able to say out loud? Go ahead. Twenty-six. <laughs> they don't look like they are struggling at all to send any coded message. And it feels very much like the truth as much as is being said. But there is some, it's not something about where they were. All of that is true. So it's more what they were doing. They weren't just watching us. I attack him. Whoa, 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 whoa. I attack him. Where is Mace? Next I don't have an attack for Mace. <laughs> Make an attack for your Mace. I, well, I never used the Mace, so I never made one for the thing. All right, so it is... <laughs> it's 1d20 plus your strength plus your proficiency to attack. All right. Plus, uh, minus one, plus two, so just plus one. Roll 1d20 plus one is a 10. Does not hit. I'm going to try to attack again if they're not going to do anything. Okay, I they, can't. My hands are full. Cool. They will do something, but give me just a moment. Uh, I've got to pull up their sheet. <laughs> And while that happens, I'm going to go ahead and make Mace attack, because I should have had this. Valkyrie, do something, please. Would Epiphany hear this fighting going on outside, or...? I would think he would hear the slamming or the yelling or something, because it would be kind of weird if he didn't. He's not very far away. Uh, but let me... And... All right, this is just a test to make sure it's working. Okay. Okay. I had to get all that it's able to do. Um, yes. Oops. Yeah. All right, so I've got that so that I know. All right, and so yes, uh, your 11 did not hit. Um, and oh, no, uh, that was just a test roll. The, the 10 is the only one that, that was, so that, that 10 didn't hit. All right. The 11 was just a test roll. To make the, sure 11, I, the 11 wouldn't hit either anyway. Um, so roll for initiative, and if anybody else is joining this fray, roll for initiative as well. Damn. Yep, there we go. There's the cleric roll. You know, I didn't have my 21 that I had for a, a flipping chase scene. Uh, that I end think it didn't it's, happen. Here's, here's the dumb thing, right? The two of us rolled the highest that last time. Now we're both rolling the lowest at this point. What the is right. wrong with us? Right. Is Epi's room locked? No. I, well, this is happening. Oh, no, actually. Let's flip into Epi's room. Okay. So, okay, this is you guys. I don't remember Abby saying he locked the room. He just went in. Yeah, he just, he just slunk he just in. Went. All right, so is Epi um, uh, going to roll initiative? Uh, does, do you think he might be participating, or is he just going yeah. to hide? They will, they will participate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course. And the, and the last time he had the lowest roll, now he has the highest. I, know. I do <laughs> recommend, just for uh, speaking purposes, if nothing else, that Relian roll for initiative. Cashin, uh, now, would Cashin hear any of this? Is the uh, question. Shepard... What would have happened when you missed uh, Yorn? Uh, did you hit I, a wall? I would, have, I, would have hit, I would have hit the floor. All right, so there would be a thump, and is there any yelling going on? 
the shepherd doesn't yell unless his wings are out, and his wings are gone now. All right, Yorn is not yelling at all. In fact, he is keeping his voice quite even and quite low with almost no emotion. Mm. Excuse me. So, Cashin would only hear the thud and be like, what the heck is going on? Yeah, it would be kind of a, what, are they playing with a medicine ball up there? Which actually happened to me in college. Our upstairs neighbors had a medicine ball that they loved to play with every night. You know that ad on TV about, we have a little clogging problem? Yeah. I don't know if you've seen that ad where the clogging problem is a family of cloggers that are doing their tap dances constantly, 24 hours a day. Um, but anyway, let me put this in order then. Go ahead, Cashin, and roll initiative. I'll just, uh, and who is left here uh, that isn't in this? Only Varus, anyone else? Yeah, Varus left though. Okay. All right, so at this point then, that would be everybody that's in hearing range of this. All righty, Cashin would be, have the first move, so you could move up the stairs or across or whatever. You're, yeah, you'd have to move up. That's up in the attic. Move, move out here and just be and just uh, have a uh, hearing of what's going on. You would Nothing hear else. some low voices and and that thud that you heard. All right, Epiphany, what are you doing? Okay. Um, Epiphany wouldn't, wouldn't know, so I won't ask. Um, so we're, we're hearing struggling outside, and Relian came into Epiphany's room. Yeah, probably, if I'm guessing what the way Relian said, he's kind of acting like he's retreating into your room, like something may have upset him. Am I right? Yeah, I, I've, I've got nothing to do with it, so you guys have fun. Uh... Through the mental connection, we can take the stone. Uh, define we? <laughs> we, you, we. Okay. The two of us, or you? Okay, I'm Epi. I'm, I'm, I love you, but this needs to stay with me right now because this thing. We will take thing... the stone to where it wishes to go, and then this chapter we're all... shall be over. No, we're already <laughs> taking. We're already taking the stone where it needs to go. If you want us to take the stone where it needs to go, go out there and settle the dispute. Because right now I've got my hands full, and this thing is very. Come, the stone yeah. is picky. Trust us. I do. <laughs> now you trust me. Okay, enough enough non-actions that add up to an action. Yorn <laughs> will reach out with his fist and attempt to slug the shepherd, but it is not the wimpy attack of the normal one that you would expect. It's a bit different. Something is different about it. Okay. Alright. Alright, that is a hit. Therefore, I have to roll something else. The fist slams you solid on with 11 damage. That's one hell of a fist. That is. Wait, how much? 13. 11. That's about as hard as Varus punches. Relian. I'm just going to... Uh, no, Q 
keep my birds and the chest close to me while I give Epi a very long look and says, the stone's kind of temperamental right now. We're going, no. Epi, no is, Epi, we talked about this, no is no. Keep, 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 keep it up. Not Let's great. See if I ever make you your favorite uh, fried toes again. Oh. That's not great, doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like a child, child, like. I, Sorry, I, I don't I, understand. I'm, uh, I have small okay, children. So... I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> so you are attacked, the shepherd. Um. I don't want to make this lethal, but I want to knock this person out, so... Yeah, why the fuck not? That hits for 10 damage. I'm just saying, if Yorn starts TPK in the party because you didn't give me the stone to get it away from here, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> the stone isn't to blame. The stone isn't doing it, but that doesn't mean Yorn doesn't want the stone. <laughs> now, then we kill Yorn. Do you think no. we can? <laughs> no, you didn't kill Yorn. Shepard! No, I, I, I don't think uh, that was I, the retort, but... <laughs> I dropped the mace because I remember why I don't use maces to begin with. I will <laughs> oh. cast all the dead. DC 14 wisdom save or take two damage. Of course, it would be a lower roll. Yep. Why lower? Because because would... the the first die roll is if the target uh didn't take any damage. The um... second die roll, it's yeah, already taken. Yeah, in actual, yeah, my in bad. Actual, in actual play, that seven would have never been rolled. Oh, yeah. Okay, my bad. Rolls an eight, so it takes. So he take he takes two damage, and I tell him. You will tell me what you were doing now while you still breathe, or I will drag your corpse to the city of the dead and force your spirit into me. My, how cleric of you. Cashin. Uh, Cashin, uh, now hearing more of this, is just going to casually move up the stairs and, uh, Rapier drawn uh, looks looks up to see uh, Cat Nakri and uh, Shepherd uh, uh, sandwiching uh, Jorn. Yep, you can put yourself on their staircase. So, am I to assume that he's a bad person now? Or at least someone to stop. <laughs> All right. Epiphany. I, I I was gonna do something, but okay. Never mind. Go go ahead if you've got an action. Uh, Cashin is uh, just going to roll his shoulders and then just thrust at Jorn or whatever he is. He will not. Uh, Jorn. Slugs at, um... Oh, uh, Epiphany. Yeah, yeah, Epiphany goes after Kit. Right, excuse me, I had already moved it, and then I moved it again. Uh, Epiphany, what are you doing? I'm on a 50-50 here. <laughs> I really want stone, but they have friend rally. <laughs> I'm curious why Epi wants the stone so bad. Eh, you could ask. I, I, I think I know. Just give us the stone. Tell you what, you tell me why you want the stone. See, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, you shouldn't have said it. Again. <laughs> it is trapped like we were. We would make it free. 
is it safe to be made free? To see, Epi, th there are a lot of questions that you're not answering right now. Many questions were asked of us as well. <laughs> you know what? I can't believe I'm saying this, but um, how, how about you and I sneak down a window and we'll take the stone to where it needs to go, and then we'll talk on the way. Uh, Epiphany jumps out the window. <laughs> Oh god! You know, Corporal Banders downstairs. He's he just land near him. Yeah, what? you jump. You jump onto the roof of the wider portion of the building, and then down to the floor. Give me a deck save to see how gracefully you do this. Face plant. Sorry. Hey. Very gracefully <laughs> indeed. Great. We are motivated. <laughs> <laughs> um, the um, uh, Yorn slams his fist on the door twice, but apparently the latch, even though the door is not locked, apparently the latch was a little bit harder than he expected, and it doesn't open. Relian. Is he trying to get into Epiphany's room? Yes. Okay. He just reached right okay. past, past you and slammed the door with his fist. Okay. But didn't uh, do very well. Okay. Things are heating up sooner than I thought. Um, okay. Relin is going to take out a dagger, and he is going to write onto the wall, Hope it's you guys reading this. Went to... Old Mage Tower. And then he's going to follow, uh, and he's going to put back his ritual dagger. He's going to go over to the window. Maybe Epi we are doing the chase scene after all. We, he's going to go over to the window. Epi just jumped out, and he's going to try to c climb out. Is there like a, can I climb out to the balcony or lead down to the stairs or anything? It's not too hard to jump out of the window onto the roof because there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a roof section that sticks out. So you can get out there real easy. It's getting from there down to the ground that's going to be a problem. You can run up to the north end of the building and jump onto the balcony, and that would take you down via the stairs. Or you can try jumping to the ground, in which case you have to have a deck save. Sam, before before you do anything, I'm sorry. Here's a little uh, OC pigeon meta. Drop the birds. Oh, thank you. God, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. So we'll rewind just a little bit. Carving the message into Epiphany's wall. I'll fix that later. Uh, placing the birds onto his unused bed. Then I'm just going to dash out of the window and w try to get down the stairs. And as he says, and as he's doing this, he says, "I'm not a coward, but I'll, I'm also not stupid. I'm not. What do I look like, CC?" He can hear that. <laughs> yep, yeah, he probably can. Um, uh, we, have a, we have a telepathic connection right now. Oh, that's true, <laughs> yeah. That. Sure. That's true, Oh, yeah. he can still hear it. <laughs> <laughs> His ears the spite, are burning. The, the spite is deafening. But yeah, uh, I'll okay. run down the stairs on the north side to eventually join back up with Epi. All right, so, so the two of you are out on the street, basically, out north or at yeah. the corner. Um, I have a question. Yeah? Since Epiphany jumped out of the window and onto the ground, would Barris be far enough away to have not seen and or heard that? Or is he still within a reasonable radius of the tavern? Since we had to put your trip on hold regarding the, the collapsible pole, um, I will say that you uh, talked with Banders for a little bit and you were outside the inn because it would just be ridiculous to have you off somewhere. Okay. Um, in that case, I'll look past Banders. Do you want me to roll initiative so I'm on the... Yeah, go ahead um, and... Okay. Yep. I just want to see another low intelligence check. It's happening again! <laughs> no. <laughs> this time, Varys... Figures out something not so good is going on. There's strange things happening. 
Nakri, what would you be doing? Uh, well, I don't want to kill them, but I don't want them to get what they want. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, I'm gonna. Now, if I use a two, just to double check on something, if I use a two handed and then action surge, can I do the two, it, the two hand? Because it's just one attack, right? You get an extra attack. Yeah, you get one extra yeah. full full attack. No bonus attack, but you get a one extra okay. main attack. Okay. Yeah. So then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to uh, grip weapon with both hands and go for that. Use up my action shirt action surge to then do it again. Repeat. <clears throat> okay. The first one hit for seven damage. I'm a little sad that, that was, but I don't have advantage of that. Yeah. Um, let me take the seven. Off. Um, it is not his turn yet. Shepard, what are you doing? We are tolling the dead again. Oh. So, again, DC wow. 14 or take two damage. It's it's like sacred flame. It's like watching me play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Two campaigns. Just a second, I'm having to do a bunch of things here, so give me just a second. Oh, there are a lot oh, no, of things. Apple, would, do you think do you think Apo, do you think uh, I would have a better chance at Disney princessing this? No. No? Okay. By the way, I don't care. Ha, huh? tricks on you. It's not my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> it's secretly the evil twin. Do a tootsie move. Pulls it off and it's Epiphany. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Epiphany. All right. There's more than one. <laughs> we are All right, now it's time to see who you really are. Old man Jenkins. Turns out Epiphany saying we was correct the whole time. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. You did a DC 14, right? That wisdom save that he has to do. <clears throat> so let me get that now done. He fails it. Oh, my goodness. He really failed it. He's not one that. Uh, so what does he take? Two? Two damage. <laughs> All right, Cashin. Do do stabity stab. Nope. Uh, Epiphany. Um, we will continue leaping and bounding. Uh, and let's put you up. I'm going to put you out front of the inn because actually when you got to the ground you'd be out like here. Yeah. And Relian, you can join him over there. Alright, so uh, you are headed up to that main street that you guys were on before? Yep. Very good. Alright, Varus. Sure. Um, oh, here we go again. Uh, Varus is going to excuse himself from Corporal Banders, and, uh, would you say it's been an hour since the initial chase scene? Yes. Okay, in that case, Longstrider would have worn off, and my movement speed is back down to 50. Um, that should still be about enough to catch up to them. And just FYI, it is now nighttime. It is dark. Uh, and um, the sun set while all this was going on, and uh, there are lamp lighters lighting the lamps as you head down these streets. Okay, Relian and Epiphany don't seem to be hostile towards each other, though. I don't. No, you saw you saw Epiphany land, look up, and then wait for Relian to land, and then they took off. Okay. Um, can I? Uh, hey, what's what's going on? Is everything okay? 
If you wish and to know, keep up. That I can do. And can I make a general insight check to see if they are still in their right minds or if they're under some sort of influence like they were earlier? Yes. I mean, can you ever really tell with Epiphany? Right. No, that's why I'm making an insight check. Can, can you can you tell with uh, Relian? No, that's why I'm making an insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you I say love right her. mind? Did you just use the term right mind for either of them? Well, I assume you have a left mind, too. I'm only concerned with the right part right now, though. Get it out. <laughs> that's that's angulous. <laughs> Uh, would a 15 be alright to see that they're still decently in control of themselves? They seem to be fairly normal, as they say, how can you ever be certain with them? But certainly, they seem more normal than they did earlier. That's the best you can, you can say. <coughs> and Barris will just keep pace with them, trying to find out what's going on. Uh, the chase is not a chase, it's simply a jog. It is a jog. It is a it is a nighttime stroll. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, we need to bring Varus because uh we gotta have somebody to outrun. Alright. You're planning an outrunning me? I mean well, if you're engaged with somebody and we run off, like <laughs> That's not gonna work, bud. You remember that? Remember that saying: "We don't need to be fast; we just need to be faster than you." But you're n n neither. But you're you not. Are than them. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh my god! Something happens with uh, Yorn. Yorn, like, melts for a moment, just like. Okay. He just like uh, melts I mean, in. Too. He melts into this amorphous form. It is roughly humanoid, but it has no features. It it's is what. It's. It's. It. it <laughs> <laughs> he broke the DM. Good job. It's revenge for last night. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, no. yes. Yes. <laughs> this is this episode oh, we're great. Um anyway, um uh it melts and it has like no features. It's like a person made out of clay that they haven't finished, it's just the form, and it slowly like shrinks down in size until it looks like a cobalt. It actually seems to shift into a cobalt shape, which I'm trying oh, to no. get. Hey, really? I think your cousin's dead. No, I think my cousin is probably more likely to be a family member than not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes um, a family can be a shapeshifter and a chain. <laughs> uh, it melts down into this cobalt shape, and it takes the disengage action and goes down the stairs. And I need to make sure that it doesn't... Yeah. Okay. So... It goes downstairs. Uh, Relian. I assume you catch up with Epiphany up at the yeah, intersection. Yeah, I'm just keeping yeah. I'm just keeping pace with we're gonna Epiphany. We're going to be we're going to be stopping yeah. here in a moment, so I just yeah. need to get us where we're going to be at the end of the night is where I am right now. Yeah, I think I think the goal for the time being like I don't know, my Mike and Sam, you, we can just kind of agree. I think the the goal is that we're just kind of moving as a unit yes we're moving as a collective unit i would like to say this however as we're moving i'm going to take out a segment of my hemp and rope i am connecting uh the handle of the chest where the orb is in with my wrist kind of like does Varys also see chest. you carrying this chest but it's a big chest i'm carrying i would my think so okay probably. 
All right, so Nock, or uh, yeah, Relian is uh, has joined uh, uh, Epiphany up on the big street. Nakri, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna go after that kobold. Okay. <laughs> you would be able to get in range because it uh, took a disengage action, so it couldn't dash. Uh. Hmm. I'm not going. Kill it. I was going to say, I wasn't going to attack it. I'm going to follow it. All right. At uh, least until the others can catch up, because I don't want to. I don't want to lose the target. All right. Kill Shepard. It. Shepard. I'm going after it, and I'm casting Toll the Dead on it because I want to kill it. It is unnatural. Okay, just a second. I uh, a quick prejudice. Just a quick measurement, just to make because you would have to get. Down these stairs. That's ten. And so that's yeah, you'd twenty. Yeah, you'd make it to within sight of it. Yep. Prejudicial, or uh, I'm under the assumption that this thing killed the actual Jorn because we did not see Jorn actually shape shift into anything. And it's also acting. And it's also acting weird. Point taken. DC fourteen or uh, take three damage. Wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. Boy, for having that good a wisdom, he sure can't roll very well. He fails. Takes three damage. All right. And then I'll oh, yell to Nazi, do not let it leave. What happened to the token that I had there? What the heck? I had the token right, maybe, oh, might be. No? There it is, okay. I'm having to use two tokens to show what you're seeing and the one keeping track of the hit points. So I'm having to do two things here and jump around. All right, so it took three damage. All righty. Uh, let's see. We are at the top of the turn order. So I'm going to, uh, usually I would stop here, but I'm going to allow Cashin one move to get him at least with the others. What is Cashin doing? He is going to cast a stab. Yes. So he's so he's Eight. moving down. Okay. Yep. And a sixteen hits. Yes, for six damage. <clears throat> All right. Um, and we will uh, pause it slightly off the top of the turn order. Normally you stop at the top, but it will be, uh, we'll be back into the greater city picture when uh, we come back this next time. Uh, we will not have a, an episode next week. There will be one week skip because it is Mother's Day. So a lot of wives, mothers, what have you. Uh, who are unlike me, would like to have their family with them for Mother's Day. Me, I'd rather be sitting here doing the uh, the episode. But, you know, there are other mothers in the particular household I live in besides me. So I will make sure that they get attention, too. So we will see you in two weeks on Crohn's Crucible, and we will be back to the streets. We'll see what's going to go on at that point in time. And... The two of you, Epiphany and Relian, got different messages because of differences in time. One was earlier in the day, and what the stone knew was going to ha happen. One was later in the evening, and what the stone knew was going to happen. So the two of you are going to have to... You've got different information, so that will be an issue next week. Be aware of that. Could we roleplay a bit uh, off camera? Of course you can. That is always an option. That is okay, never. So <laughs> maybe but we, we can just pull Ruth into the thing with you, me, and Barris, and we can kind of 
what we are initially running. <laughs> yeah, at the very initial thing, and <sighs> because crazy. because Rellion said by the mind meld to Epiphany, this thing has to be gotten to the Mage's Tower. So that information has been relayed to Epiphany, and he probably will have a reaction to that. So I will allow you guys to RP that during the week, and then we'll, when we, or during the two weeks, and when we come back in two weeks, uh, we can tell them what you decided what is going to happen. So with that, I will say Happy Mother's Day next week for all you mothers out there, or for those of you who have a mother. Uh, some of you may not. I don't know. You may be like Epiphany. Um, and the... That's not fair. His mother was a tube. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Aren't all of ours. Hey, hey. Green, green mother was a tube. Epiphany's a puddle of sadness again. Stop poking fun at him. <laughs> That's the one who was making fun of him. No, I said he had a mother. <laughs> You're the one poking at his mother. Well, he can't help it if he lived in a single parent family. So his dad was also his mother. That happens sometimes. Yeah. 2020. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody okay. Discover who Kevin is. <laughs> Rellion, what's your final words for us for tonight? Bye, everybody. Remember, if you think about it, all sayings but mine are kind of stupid. For example, the saying, if one door closes and another door opens, just think about it. If one door closes and another door opens, your house is probably haunted. <laughs> That's creepy thought. Very creepy thought. And with that, we'll again wish you Happy Mother's Day and good night from Crohn's Crucible. See you in two. Goodbye. Adios. <laughs>